hello guys and welcome back so now we can climb up on these small obstacles for example the tables these boxes okay but we can't climb up on this stall okay and for example this big box right here so in this video we will be adding the climbing system okay so as you know that first of all we will be needing the animations for it so on the maximo.com search for sprint to wall climb okay or uh, this is the animation name as you can see and then just simply click on it and as you can see this is the animation which we will be needing okay so what we can do we can just simply now download this animation and we will trim this animation in unity okay for now let's just leave this as it is okay because we will be creating some changes in unity with this animation so make sure that the skin is without skin and the format is fpx for unity click on download and as you can see it is downloading then as you can see right here the player goes into crouch mode as you can see the player doesn't stand so we need a standing animation as well so we will say crouch to stand and you can notice the player is on both of the hand okay right there so actually we need this standing up animation okay which is this one as you can see okay so just simply search for this crouch to standing by the name of this animation and you will find this right here simply click on download and download it in the same format and once you download them let me now rename them as well so which is crouch to standing so we will just simply name this as stand and let's rename this to climb up okay and then let's cut this from here and paste it inside the animations folder okay so now we have the climb up and the stand right here so if you click on climb up let's click on rig make it humanoid copy from other avatar and in here select Erica Archer click apply and if you click on animation let's drag and drop the player now and if you play it you can see this is the animation okay so now what we want right here is we want the body orientation to be original and pick into pose click apply and now the player will not rotate okay the player will just move in the forward direction like that and then for the root transform position y we want to select feet okay so that we don't have any feet issues and that will be it and now let's trim this animation in unity so we want to trim the running part okay we just need this part okay where the player is running okay we just need this part for example from here we will trim it actually let me move it a little bit down okay from here we will trim it from start will be 11 in the end okay, so when he I mean her or she when she reaches this point okay from here we want to stand okay just leave this till the end okay but we can actually let's remove these few frames okay so here the player just simply sits okay try to sit and we don't want the player to sit so this will be the animation from start 11 and the end will be 50 okay okay click apply as well if you don't click apply then it will not be safe so make sure that you click apply that is it for this animation now if you click on stand let's click on its rig make it humanoid copy from other avatar and make sure to select Eric Archer right there click apply if you click on animation now select the player okay this is the animation 
and as you can see the player is rotating so we actually don't want the player to rotate so make the body orientation original back into pose root transform position y will be set to feet click apply and that will be it now if you click on player and then click on animator this is the player animator let's drag and drop the climb animation right here and also name this as climbing up then let's move the stand animation right there let's make this standing then make a transition from climbing up to standing and now if you play it as you can see the player will show the animation like this as if this is a full animation then from standing make a transition to basic locomotions and that will be it okay so we have the animation set up right there okay and if you didn't get it then just move the video backward and try to watch it again and trim the animation perfectly fine okay so once you do that click on player model then parkour actions now let's create a parkour action for this so parkour menu create new parkour action let's name this as climbing up and here it needs the animation name so the animation name is climbing up as well okay the minimum height for this will be 3 the maximum will be 7 it will look at the obstacle as well we will allow target matching and for the target matching let me see the climb up okay the climb up animation not the stand so right here as you can see the player first of all moves the right hand forward so the compare body part will be right hand okay so let me click on action right here we select right right hand okay then the start and end time for that if we click on climb up okay so we will start the target matching from 0 0.18 till 0 0.79 maybe or 0 0.96 let's just actually make it 96 for now we will change that value later so 0 0.18 till 0 0.97 that is it okay and then click on player right here make this 3 and drag and drop the climbing up okay now if you click on scene view let's play the game okay now let's try to climb this as you can see the player is playing the climbing up okay let's play it again there it is okay but the player hands is not accurate okay let me close the game click on this box okay is box collider is fine okay but I don't know it is showing issue on this box okay let's play it again actually now and then let's play it okay I don't know why it is getting that other area of this box okay but if we try to play this on this stall for which we created it as you can see the player hands are perfectly holding down this area okay as you can see but the hands are going inside the stall okay as you can see don't worry we will be fixing that and this issue as well okay so in order to fix that now open up the new parkour action okay and then right here in the target matching let's create a serialized field okay this will be a vector 3 and let's name this as compare position weight this will be equal to new vector 3 and in here by default we will pass 0 then for the y we will pass 1 and for the z we will pass 0 okay x y z okay and let's create a reference for it as well so that we can call it from other script as well so let me just copy this right here paste it down below 
remove serialized field make it a public vector 3 by and, uh, this will be equals to okay compare position weight but the C will be capital right here that is it then on the parkour controller script right here now instead of this vector 3 okay instead of this hard coding we will say action dot compare position weight and that will be it let's get back to new parkour action and make sure instead uh, with this equal sign make sure that you add the greater sign as well since we are creating a reference for it so now if you click on this climbing up as you can see we have this compare position weight okay for each of this we have the y by default set to 1 because we want the player to put their feet and also the right hand on this surface okay on the table surface and on this object surface as well okay I've explained this in the previous video so now for some of the parkour action for example for the climbing up now we want the Z to be 1 as well so then when the player perform the climbing up the player hands will not go inside this box or this stall okay it will be outside of this stall and the box as well okay so for the climbing up make it 1 and for the other one it will be 0 you can for them you can also make this one okay but for now let's just test this for climbing up so if you play the game now and you will notice that now if we try to jump right here as you can see now the player hands doesn't go inside the stall okay now let's play it right here as well as you can see it is playing it but I don't know why the player hands are right there okay so I think the reason behind it will be that if we decrease this start time of the animation to for example 7 okay for the climb up click apply okay so we will leave the animation start time will be 7 and it will be 50 and then for this stand let's make this as 3 and this to 15 okay so that it be so that the animation is more faster okay click apply and then if you click on parkour action then climbing up now let's decrease the compare start time as well so if you click on climb up let's make the start I mean the start time has 0 0.08 and then the end time will be zero point twenty eight for example so if you click on climbing up let's make this as zero point zero eight and then this to zero point twenty eight okay and the reason I decrease the start and end time is because if you see the climb up okay from 0 0.8 okay the player start moving her hands outwards okay and then on 28 you will notice right here that the player keeps the hand on the surface okay as you can see so we want to stop the target checking right there so that's why on the climb up we say 0 0.08 and then 0 0.28 okay and then the right hand and everything is set up okay make sure that you do this as well and then if you play the game you will notice that now if we perform it as you can see now it is perfectly fine okay now if you perform it right here as you can see it perform it perfectly fine okay so in this way you can add your own climb up animation as well and now if you try to change this uh, z value for both of the 
jump up and high jump up make it one okay now if we play it again you can notice the difference in the animation now as you can see now the player is a little bit away from the table okay and from right here as well as you can see okay so if you want you can change it for these two as well but I will just leave this as zero and that is it okay so now we have a climb up parkour now we need the other par parkour action which is the jumping of this short wall okay so in the next video we will be adding just that so with this done I will see you guys in the next one